For the Maponya family. When we are gathered in this fashion, the only first thing that I can say is let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say hallelujah. hallelujah. Let the church say praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. The passing of the patriarch will leave a hole that can never be filled. It is very sad. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the truth can be very difficult, and it has. And this is the truth, and it has that Dr. Richard Pilwana Maponya is no more. That is sad. Well, for more on the memorial service, we cross uh, to our reporter, Mbalentla Mtetwa, who was observing the, the uh, memorial service. Mbalentla, obviously it's always sad when somebody passes on, but this chap died when he was 99 years old and he, he achieved quite a lot. Good afternoon, Nompu. Yes, indeed, he did achieve quite a lot. And a lot of the testimony, I mean, a lot of the people who have come before uh, this memorial service have spoken great messages of the great man that he was and how he overcame the, the, the very limiting apartheid system. You know, the apartheid system at the time uh, prevented him from getting that retail, uh, that retail license, that license that he wanted so badly in order to sell clothes to his uh, community of Soweto. But since this morning, we had hundreds of people coming to pay their respects and extend their condolences to the Maponya family. It was a sad and both, both sad and inspiring memorial service where people attested to the tenacity of uh, Dr. Richard Maponya. They told stories of his great work and all that he had achieved and they also spoke about the man that he was and what you know his life meant to different people we heard Herman Mashaba speaking about how uh, the, the late Dr. Richard Mabonya was a family man and a man rooted in family and he says that that taught him that you know family is a foundation for business and that you know his relationship with his wife Marina Mabonya is what inspired him to go into business and also to be rooted in family because that is the best foundation to establish and build a business and he also said that you know in modern in today's age and in, and in today's world you know there, there is somewhat a death of family businesses and you know that is something that inspired him to actually go into business you know we also spoke earlier on to Tebe Galafeng who spoke very highly and very well of uh, the late Dr. Richard Maponya who said because they saw him become the very successful black businessman in the community they were also inspired and it almost gave them permission to also chase after their dreams and become successful people in their own right. He also spoke about his community rootedness. We know that his business started in the community of Soweto where he went house to house selling uh, things like a tribe as well as milk and that is the community that actually helped him and supported him to become the very big businessman and the noble businessman and the legendary black businessman that we know him to be today and the man that we are celebrating today. We also had uh, individuals from uh, academia also coming in to speak uh, speak about his tenacity and speak about the great work that he has done in the community. Just going back to what Tebe Galafeng said, he said that he'd done an interview with him where he asked him, but why did you persevere? Why did you work so hard to fight against the oppressive regime that was the apartheid system, the system that prevented you from going and participating in the mainstream economy? And he simply, uh, he says that Dr. Richard Maponya's answer was that if he hadn't done that, 
he would have failed his community. So that also attests to his community rootedness and how he wanted black South Africans to thrive in business and also have equal opportunities to participate meaningfully in the economy and also just to reap the, the rewards of a thriving economy and of a thriving business. And that is the life of uh, Dr. Richard Mabonya and some of the things that have been said uh, before us here at this memorial service. We do understand that there will be a Soweto leg on Monday where Soweto residents will be given the opportunity to also talk about their memory of Dr. Richard Mabonya and how they remember him and what lessons they have learned from his life and how he overcame this oppressive regime and the fact that he actually brought to the community of Soweto a very big mall that is Mabonya Mall that is there in Soweto right now. But uh, we do understand that the, the memorial service on Monday will be held actually at that um, iconic mall that is uh, Mabonya Mall. Oh, nice. And we understand that the funeral will be held on Tuesday uh, next week. But it has been a very okay. uh, somber, okay. insp inspiring uh, moment to just sit here and listen to the stories, you know, from uh, not only friends and family, but also people who have worked with him. We had one lady who's worked with him in the, one of the farms, and she said that he, he essentially groomed her to be the businesswoman that she is today, and she urged other people in business to also do the same and to follow in Dr. Richard Mabonya's footsteps in mentoring young people to become entrepreneurs. But you know, Dr. Mabonya's story is rather inspiring because he's one individual who had to fight against an oppressive regime, but also never got funding from any institution, you know, and he, he's basically one of those people who started small, saving money, and also just trying to reinvest in himself and reinvesting again in his business and investing in the community of Soweto. And that is the life of Dr. Richard Mabonya. For now, though, Numbu, it is back to you in studio.